July is the middle of winter here in Australia. Temperature ranges between 1 degree to 12 degrees Celsius. That's 33.8 to 53.6 degrees Fahrenheit and can drop below 0 Celsius at night. And these are some of my Echeveria Gavoides Romeo. They are starting to show signs of flowering. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. It is now September and most of my Romeos that you see on the table here, the stems or the inflorescence, the flower stalks, are starting to grow. This one is my original Romeo or this is the original strain. The inflorescence are starting to get a bit bigger. This is Echeveria Gavoides Corderoi. This plant is responsible for the Romeos. Without this plant, we wouldn't have any Romeo because Romeo is a mutation from this plant. Basically, what it is is that all the Romeos that we have now came from this original mother plant. So something happened in nature that made them mutate to turn into the beautiful Romeos that we have now. And this one here is a crested Echeveria agavoides. It is very evident from this plant of the red tips that some of the Romeos got, the dark tips. It's almost like an ebony, isn't it? So let's compare the mother plant and the mutation. So this is already another mutated form of corderoi. So you can see those red tips. It's like an ebony. And anyway, this one is also flowering and it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful plant. My Echeveria agavoides Romeo Rubin has flowered and now the flower stalks are dried up. So it's time for me to gather some seeds. This is the biggest Romeo Rubin that I have. So I don't even have the guts to chop it all off and behead it so I can propagate more babies. Because I like it. It's too beautiful to chop off. So I'm not really keen in chopping it off. So what I'd like to do now is gather some seeds. Okay, so this is the seeds. Now the stem is all dried up. So time to gather seeds. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. The other one, I do the same. There you go. So that's Romeo Rubin. That's the only one I have that's flowering. And my Romeo. This is going to be exciting because I'm just going to put them in one container here. So this is my Echeveria agavoides serious and seriously there's only one flower stalk so now i'm gonna get that uh, seed seeds seed pods that's all dried up and put that there as well in my container there you go so serious so i'm just gonna mix them all up so they're all romeo anyway so i'm just gonna that way it'll be a nice surprise when i do grow them see what comes out so the romeo rubin will definitely be red and the romeos will be sort of pink okay so i'm not going to contaminate it with other uh, variety of echeveria so i'm just going to stick to the romeos also the taurus taurus looks very similar to the Romeo so I'm just gonna mix them up so Romeo Taurus it doesn't matter to me and the, but the beauty of Taurus is that why am I saying Taurus okay Taurus is um, having a baby look this is the only look there's two babies oh my goodness I didn't even know you've got another one so there's two there's two babies so but still I'm gonna gather the seed pods because this is gathering the seed pods okay so precious okay put it there I don't know if they're going to take, plus uh, the good thing about this is it's been fooling around with all the other ones here, but this one now, I'm going to gather this one. This is my Echeveria Gavoidis Sharp, 
sharp look very sharp uh, so I'm not gonna gather I'm not even gonna touch that okay water lily you go back there water lily I don't need to get some seeds from the water lily because they pop up really quick see plenty of babies so I'm just gonna break this off if I can mm, there you go pull it off and throw this away so the sharp I want to gather the seeds from that and now Taurus 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 okay when it gets warm so when the temperature goes up when it gets hot Romeo they go pale they lose their color but the Taurus next to it nah it's still beautiful so I don't know now whether they're, they're just a variety of uh, another version of Echeveria corderoi because that is the original plant so they're all corderoyes and then they turn pink and then they go call them Romeo oh Romeo okay never mind so now this one oh I got aphids up there so I'm not gonna touch that stem just gonna inspect that that one doesn't have aphids so we'll take this one now do you have aphids let's see no, that one doesn't have aphids as well, but the aphids all, hang on, let me see. Okay, just inspect it. We don't want any insectus eating our seeds. So this one is at the front. It gets afternoon sun and midday sun, but I'll show you, uh, and it's quite, oh, still hard. Okay, so this, just the face of it is facing the sun, and it's pale. The back of it, look, don't drop okay see the back is pink there you go so I'm gonna take this down and show you look see so Romeo likes being in bright light but no direct sunlight so they lose the color in autumn and winter they stay pink or even red because the temperature it's cold it's the temperatures down and the, the weather is cold okay the winds coming up again so that's why they stay beautiful even at the end of summer they still stay uh, okay so now I have a problem here I think so now I've got a root rot okay but it doesn't matter I'm not even worried about that because we're gathering seeds we're gonna take that first take that first and that one first okay now what happened to you hey what happened to you Oh, that's still okay. We'll remove all of this. And there was one leaf and two leaves here. Oh my goodness. Uh, do you want to have a head chop? Let's go head chop a Romeo. So this one, so the minute it does that, I'm a bit worried that this is just going to die on me. So this is now, I'm going to line this up for head chop. Beheading off with its head. Okay, I'll remove that. Come on. There you go, because I don't want you to infect, because normally when that happens, there's insect activities that's doing that. Okay, let's go check. See, everything else is still good, intact. And this one, I actually uh, put this, punish this a little bit. When it was still very young, I've exposed it to the sun. Can you see the burning there? So this is uh, even there, see? I put it out in the sun too quickly just to see what happens <laughs> and that's what happened and then after that I've been keeping it in the shade and so now she stays beautiful but then now she's lined up for a head chop and then this one see the dark spot there that's no good we'll remove it there you go see it's just the infestation is just on the leaf itself right at the tip it still uh, hasn't touched that part there so we can still wrangle this but then that one's got a dark so anything that's got a dark because that's insect attack and then it rains see you see that see mealybug mealybug hello see there's mealybug in there see that's why you can't see it but hang on i'm gonna get your mealybug there you go okay can i get you now okay there you go uh, okay dead <laughs> so but anyway now I'm gonna bring this inside and we'll chop its head off okay so now that one should I I don't really want to get those aphids let's check first have a close look oh only that one's got aphids but that one's got no aphids so we'll remove that one and that one too because you never never know I don't even know if they were pollinated so 
don't know if I'm going to have some viable seeds from that. There you go. See that seeds there? See that pod? Each one of them contains a precious cargo. Hang on. There you go. Oh, that one doesn't have uh, aphid, so we'll put it there. So now this is a mix of Romeo Ruben, Taurus, and Romeo. Hoo hoo. Ah. Oh. Silly me. I even forgot this Romeo. How can I miss you? Look. Look at all those ripe seed pods opening. Okay, we're gonna have to pluck you out. We're gonna have to pluck you out. Okay, into the container. And those ones too. Over here, I also have these ones. Ah, this is so beautiful. Okay, I got that one from the Romeo Ruben. Okay. Now these are the Romeos here. They're only fairly new. They're only babies. So they haven't got any flowers. But anyway, so so far, look, look how much, how much, how much I've got now. So I'm not going to do this all in one video. We're going to do updates. That way you can come along for the ride with me as we go. Check the progress on my vlog. So that way you get to see how it's grown and follow through. The, all the dramas as well, if they're going to die or whatever. But anyway, I'll just put this one back in here now. Okay, you go back there, Romeo. Romeo, you're so pretty. But anyway, those tips in it, just, just gorgeous. But I'm kind of liking... Okay, see this one now. See that one? It looks like it's rotting. It's because it's got babies, so we have to remove that because if you don't, it might kill the baba. Okay, there you go. I'll just break it off just give the baby room to grow so i really need to chop that off as well oh my lord how exciting okay i need to extract the baby from that taurus 